The work that I do um, as a policy researcher is specifically looking at science and research policy. So anything that the government does or any other organisations do that might affect how people can do science and research, uh, I have to have an opinion on. Cancer Research UK is an enormous organisation um, that carry out world leading research. We're the largest independent funder of cancer research in the world and we contribute hugely to the medical research base in the UK. The work that I do is more based on looking after the science and research base in terms of how the government are supporting it and how we are supporting it to make sure that our researchers have the best opportunity to do their work. I was a scientist originally. I did uh, an undergraduate degree in chemistry um, and then not satisfied with that I then stayed on to do a PhD in chemistry as well. During my PhD I worked quite closely with a charity called Sense About Science who look at public engagement and public understanding of science uh, and with them I did a couple of projects um, to try and encourage young researchers to basically talk about their science more. And when I was writing up my thesis, I did an internship with them and so sort of gradually moved across from the science itself into more communication and science policy. And I then did a graduate um, placement with uh, the Royal Society of Chemistry. And I worked on a project for them that was more about health policy. So looking at sort of drawing attention to the fact that chemistry contributes a great deal to healthcare because that's not something that's necessarily obvious to the general public or to other scientists. So we were trying to encourage scientists to work together closely across discipline to contribute to, to healthcare, um, which then sort of drew me across to health policy. As a policy researcher, part of the job of research skills actually trying to um, get to grips with whatever the topic is or whatever the argument is, talking to people, communicating with people, also talking to our researchers and to our scientists, um, which having done research myself, um, it's very useful and it's, it's definitely a highlight of my job um, to talk to the scientists about their work uh, and then working closely in, um, with my colleagues. I think there are a number of skills that are very important for my job. Um, obviously the analytical side of things because of the research element, so you are having to um, you are having to collect information on a particular topic and area and that does hark back to um, researching in a lab. It's the same, uh, the similar sort of idea, but communication is a massive, massive um, part of the job, either communicating with my colleagues or communicating with scientists about their, we their, their work and their research, which can, which can be quite technical, but then also on the other side of things, talking to MPs or to members of the public or, or to people that have no idea about science and so it's quite a mixture of uh, messages. The key thing about being interested in science and sort of being interested, I mean my background is obviously chemistry, is appreciating that there's an awful lot of transferable, uh, transferable skills that you're building through either just studying the subject in terms of problem solving or if you go into research yourself um, and appreciating that if you don't want to stay in research there's an awful lot from that that can be um, very useful and although I think I, I don't think I need a PhD to be doing my current role there are an awful lot of skills that I picked up during my research that I think are invaluable for the work that I'm doing now. I really enjoy the work that I'm sort of dealing with um, knowing that if we encourage the government to be more supportive of science and research, that then has an opportunity to encourage um, cancer research, medical research in the UK. That's obviously a very important goal. Um, and also the variety. There's always things to be pushing for and working for, a huge range of people to be dealing with, so it's a good, good variety.